Good morning. Hope everyone is having a great Saturday morning. I was just going to give you a garden tour this morning. Uh, I just got through watering uh, all of my fruits and vegetables. But this right here is one of our flower beds. Uh, we always have strawberries in here, but we had cantaloupe and honeydew in there last year. We didn't plant it again in this year. We had some greens and things like that. But the melons have come back and they have come back in full force. As you can see, there's a melon. Um, there's another melon. Got a little baby melon in there that's growing. Um, it has melons everywhere, even on the inside. So we'll eventually uh, cut the netting. Uh, there's a couple in here that I think are almost ready. Uh, another melon. You see it's got the little baby that's growing and then there's a melon off in there. So yeah, this is uh, our flower bed and you can even see that the greens are flowering so I know that the last time it flowered uh, the insects got to all of the uh, seeds but see I don't know if you can see that there's one off in there over here we have our pineapples uh, this pineapple top right here is growing really well uh, this one not so much but I have one in the house that uh, we cut the other day and I also have another one that we'll probably cut this morning but I just I grow the roots and then I plant them and I have them in this little area right here if you can see it's sitting under our crepe myrtle tree so it has sun and it's got um, a little bit of shade but I think this is the perfect place for it because it's not getting too hot um, also right here we have all of our uh, cucumbers we have our Armenian cucumbers so these will get harvested today. And then we have our regular cucumbers off in there. We have some tomatoes. You see the tomatoes that are growing? Uh, there was one that I harvested yesterday, that one right there. We have our marigolds. And then here we have our huge fig tree. We have another little fig tree that's sitting beside it, but it's in a bucket. So we just haven't figured out what the perfect place would be uh, to keep it. But we're just waiting on our figs to um, ripen so we can go ahead and collect those. Uh, I'll probably be dehydrating those. And then over here is our watermelon bed. There's a little bit of spearmint in here. I'm not sure where that came from. But um, this watermelon over here, it was on the wall and it fell off. We had, had a, put a stocking over it to kind of hold it up, but it fell. So once it fell, we just... Um, just laid it down. Once it got big enough, we just kind of laid it down off in there. Then we've got some butternut squash that's in this one. I've already harvested maybe four or five butternut squash. There's another one in the corner. And then we also have our other watermelon. It's ready. Um, hopefully it's going to be super sweet. You can see the little tendril on there. It's darkened up. And so I believe I read that means it's ready to harvest so we'll try it out today and then over here in this flower bed we also have tomatoes uh, this is another area this is the area where we deliberately put our cantaloupe and honeydew melons but it has everything else growing in it there's green onions off in there <laughs> there are gourds off in there there's all kind of stuff you can see there's a melon on the ground. Um, we harvested three out of here yesterday. And then if you can see the ones that's on the wall, there's several that are hanging up. It's hard to see from all the leaves, but this whole flower bed has all of that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is the arch that my husband put up. Uh, last year, I usually buy a bunch of pumpkins and gourds and things to decorate the house for the fall. But Diamond had one gourd, we threw it in here, and it has taken over this bed. So you see that one's hanging, it's got another little small one right here. This is vining all the way up. <laughs> so I told them this year when we collect them, we'll still use them for decoration this year, but we're throwing those in the trash. 
I don't want a whole bunch of those, especially the fact that they have started to take over um, the flower bed. But anyways, so yeah, this is what's going on in the garden. And I know the last time I did a video, um, my husband was still kind of putting it up. Uh, he also had switched out and put wooden uh, beds. He put, uh, these were fenced in and we were using these little areas for our compost for the last maybe year or two. So the soil is really good. So that's one of the other reasons that it's very overgrown, but because it was the compost, there's all kinds of little treats that are in there. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, say hello and give you a garden tour. Uh, again, I'm getting ready to harvest a lot of this. I'll let you know uh, what all we get. Have a good day. It's not ready. That's oh, yellow meat. It is yellow meat. <laughs> That's a $6 watermelon. <laughs>